What happens when you dump 30 trucks of coffee waste on reforestation land? According to research conducted in Costa Rica, the forest recovers much faster. The experiment was tested by Cole's team, working with researchers from the Swiss Research University, F. Zurich. Then the crew spread a layer of coffee pulp, half a meter thick across the entire land. This eliminated the invading species, allowing native trees to recolonize rapidly. The seeds of the native trees were spread by the wind and animals dispersal. The outcomes were stunning, according to the researcher, Rebecca Cole, a leading ecologist from the University of Hawaii. The area treated with a thick layer of coffee pulp transformed into a tiny forest in just two years, whereas the control land remained dominated by non-native grazing grasses. After two years of treatment, the land treated with coffee pulp had 80% canopy cover compared to 20% in the control area. The trees in the coffee pulp area were also four times taller and the soil had much more nutrients, including carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. The study conducted on land that experienced drastic deforestation in the 1950s reveals that cheap and widely accessible waste materials can accelerate the regrowth of the tropical forests. The scientists believe additional investigation is needed as the research involved only a single site on flat ground. It is planned to scale up the study by testing this method across a variety of degraded locations in the landscape. This crucial information will help the world to restore massive areas of tropical forest in accordance with 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. A similar strategy may be explored with various forms of agricultural non-market items like orange husks. Thank you for watching the video. For more interesting facts make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, peace out.